Hey everybody, the Brick Canuck here. In EverQuest, there are some items that you will absolutely need to be successful. And today we're going to look at one of those. It's called the Journeyman's Boots, or in-game as the J-Boots. But before we get into looking at the J-Boots, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone that's been subscribing to the channel. We recently hit 100 subscribers. You know, I just started this for fun, just more or less just a couple of weeks ago. And I had to get myself excited for the new TLP. Uh, I thought I'd share some of my uh, long wisdom with EverQuest. So thank you to everyone that's done that. Everybody else, you know, feel free to hit the like and subscribe. And of course the little bell so you get reminders when I do put out new videos. That you're going to be wearing on your feet but they are absolutely critical if you are going to be raiding but not only that they have a cool little effect that make you run a little faster and to be honest running faster is always nice if you know, you're going from free port to the tunnel to sell your latest wares then getting there a few seconds quicker great fantastic but that's not the reason why we generally want these boots we want them for their off-brand use as well it's because they are an instant click buff and that's really important during some fights in EverQuest. And here I am in Sleeper's Tune I'm using the Ancient to demonstrate this. You'll see I've got some nice little buffs. Oh, and there goes one now because these dragons have a dispelling effect and they will just go through your buff bar every so many seconds that you cast it, taking the next buff off, off you that's in the list. See, there goes my clarity just then as well. But never fear, I just hit my J boots that I had in my inventory. And you see, J boots goes right to the top of that list. No cast time, didn't take any into cast, and there goes the J boots. And you'll see I've uh, I just moved the window so you can see the, the text. Again, I press it. And when the dragon does his uh, shout again, there goes the J boots effect. So it's keeping the buffs further down the line on me and that's really important when you're raiding especially if you're a tank because you've got your AC buffs you've got your HP buffs and things like that and if you're letting those drop you're shrinking the amount of HP that you have it's putting extra pressure on your healers it's putting um, you're more likely to die and it's putting the raid in more jeopardy Whereas if you um, say are a caster, you learn it to your clarity, then you're not going to be getting your mana back as fast, so you're not doing as much damage. So really, no matter who you are in the raid, everyone should have a junk buff in that very first slot. Uh, the very first buff that you get should be a junk buff, and the best one and one of the most accessible ones to get is the J-Boots. So to get the J-Boots, it is a quest. And it's a quest that I always start getting one of the more difficult pieces, and that's the Ring of the Ancients. And to get the Ring of the Ancients, typically and the easiest way to get it is by coming to the Ocean of Tears, to the Sea Fury Island, to find the Ancient Cyclops. He does also spawn in South Row, though it's more infrequent, and there's fewer chances of him to spawn there from what I have seen. So I and everybody else much prefer to come to the island in Ocean of Tears and it's the updated Ocean of Tears so you can see the, the models of the islands is a little bit different than how it used to be. It's also such a, a huge zone. Please make sure you've got a Spirit of Wolf and a Levitate because to swim there is just the absolute worst it takes forever and there are some sharks in the sea. Word of warning, when you do zone in, uh, you go into the island where the translocator drops you off. Those sisters can be KOS to some people and they can really hurt. Um, so don't zone in and go AFK. Um, you know, go somewhere else or swim off the island or something like that so they can't, uh, they can't get you because there's always corpses around that zone line right there. And here we go. This is the Fury Island. So you zone in. Uh, to the translocator and pretty much just head west then it's the second island that you'll pass after the goblin island and it's populated by a whole bunch of cyclopses known 
as Sea Fury, Sea Fury Cyclopses. And any one of these can spawn basically as the ancient Cyclops. Um, I haven't really found a, you know, a specific placeholder that could spawn him. It, it can be any of these. But what I like to do is to set up where there's a, you know, a whole bunch of them because this is a contested camp. You know, people are here to get the Ring of the Ancients in order to sell it. And you know, typically they'll try and sell it for a chrono. Right, so you, you, you're going to be competing against others. So I always like to set up uh, close to where a lot of them spawn. And, you know, this to the north end is a good spot. And there's also a spot down there to the south of the island. Um, whenever you see the ancient Cyclops up, basically, if he's in your area, you've got to beeline to it. Because everybody else on the island will as well. Unfortunately, you have to expect that there are some people using programs which display where every mob is on the map. And you know, that includes sending off like audio alerts and things like that. And you know, you're going to expect to get competition on it very, very quickly. Um, and that's just an unfortunate state of the game really today. And you know, for an item that I think everyone should really get. Um, so here you go. This is the other island, as, the other area of the island as well. Um, there is a named right there, Quake Maelstrom. I don't think he drops anything relevant anyway. Um, he's just a little bit harder than the others. But yeah, this area, there's lots of Cyclopses roaming around as well. There isn't much else that goes on on this island. You know, this is the area like a little camp park because you can see the beach area and you can see that little like pathway there and up, up on his bridge and he's gone it he's just a uh, a hill giant he's nothing special doesn't drop anything worthwhile and eventually you will have an ancient cyclops spawn he looks just like every other cyclops on the island except he's just got a different name above his head so you have to make sure you're keeping an eye and you know you're not missing him um, you know, as soon as one spawns, you want to tap and have a look and, and see what it is. Other than that, nothing special compared to the other Cyclopses, but he does drop the ring that we want. And the ring we want is this one, the Ring of the Ancients. This is the hardest part of the J-Boots quest to get, just because it is so contested. And it's the only real item you need to worry about getting. How I've done it on other servers is I've just come down here with a bunch of friends and we've spent a few hours here and we've got the ring for everyone and we don't leave until everyone's got it. You know, it's a good grouping session, we're all chatting away on Discord, at least make it fun, right? And what else you'll need to do is you'll need 3,250 gold pieces. Now, uh, online it says you can do it with plat but i've lost handings to hasten before so i don't take any chances so just go to any banker right click and then you will let you transfer your own plat straight into gold you don't need to use the bank window and the very last item that you need is a shadowed rapier and this drops off an invisible man now these these mobs are obviously unique mobs just pairs of floaty weapons and you can find them dotted about the world as a the most common place i think a lot of people get the rapier that they need is in common lands there's a big camp of them there uh, pro tip for common lands is do it in a pick um, there's often so many people in common lands that pick will spawn and nobody will be in the pick it's quite common you'll go in the main zone and they'll all be dead but just pick over and they'll be up like the thing about this item is it's temporary so you cannot log off with it if you do you lose it so this is what you want to do before you go to hasten so you want to make sure you got a good block of time so you can go and get the rapier from the shadow man and uh, then head on over to hasten it's a fairly common drop and you'll see it pretty quickly all right the very last thing we need to do is to hand all this in and we need to hand it into hasten boot strutter an awesome gnome with an awesome name but he's very annoying to spawn and he runs like crazy so you need to come to the mountains of wrath and on top of the hill where all the hill giants roam if you see a bunch of mage pets in the area then you know you're in the right spot um, because people will be here farming the hill giants so your spot you want is by this tree where I showed you on the map just a minute ago and this mob right here is the, the placeholder and I'm just going to pop it a bunch of times so you might see it flick away, that's just me re-popping it 
and these are all the placeholders that could be there instead of the one we want which is hasted so normally the like, it's about a five or six minute timer so imagine you kill them all but then you've got to wait another five to six minutes the annoying thing is it's not something you can look away from because when Hasten spawns he runs like crazy and like if you unless you have cello speed you're not going to catch him up he goes so fast and as you can see here i'm not having a whole lot of luck trying to uh repop uh let's see oh there is there he is there's Hasten. so you know as soon as you see him you've got to be hailing him and constantly pressing hail and you want to give him the ring give him the rapier see he's trying to run already and I'm like, no, 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 don't run, Hasten. Let me give you the stuff that you asked for. Don't run off, mate. Um, so give him the stuff. And there you go. I have the boots on my cursor. The journeyman's boots. Um, normally, there's a whole bunch of people. And you can see that's how many times I was, like, hailing him. I was hailing him a lot. Because if you don't, he's gone. He's just, he, he just goes, Hasten. Um, often there's a few other people around there trying to do Hasten. And you'll often hear people in the zone has anybody seen Hasten? Um, but that's exactly where he spawns right up by that tree and uh, if you want to kill the placeholder it's usually a drake or bear um, but that's what you'll get and there's our reward the journeyman's boots that's the item that we wanted uh, make sure you put them on a hotkey so just drag them onto a hotkey so that you can easily easily click them because this is a button that you're going to be pressing a lot especially uh, during raids so that you're not losing the good buffs and also sometimes when you just simply want to run faster or you want to annoy people by making the red lines come out thank you so much for watching and i hope you have yourselves a fantastic day